Facebook. Hi, all of our brothers and sisters. Um, you're not used to seeing, you're used to seeing me in hats, but maybe not this type of hat. So I'm gonna tell you what we're doing here. Ken Fabri, one of our board members, Hello. and one of our favorite folks in the universe. And we're gonna um, let him explain what, what we're doing here. Oh, okay, great. So um, part of Matthew 25 is that we're really excited. There's, uh, I'm gonna introduce you in a moment to Susie Lars. She is um, the president of Agape Missions, which I'm part of that board and I love them. And uh, for 30 years, um, they have, um, have built churches, schools, and orphanages. And so they've partnered with Feed the Hung uh, the, uh, again, ch uh, Children Against Hunger, Kids Against Hunger which is Carrie, which we're getting ready to meet. And so we've brought all of our groups together, including Fire Keepers, Axe, Vineyard Fellowship. We're all here today. We're trying to get our youth involved and um, they can tell you more about what's going on in Haiti, but apparently with all the turmoil that's going on right now, they're locked in and they cannot get food. And so because of the Kids Against Hunger and their access to, um, uh, the military planes, we're actually going to get the food and put it straight into the villages where Agape has established uh, um, uh, compounds and, and work there. So, And they also feed around the world. So this is an amazing program worldwide. So we're excited to be a part of it today. So Firekeepers has a program called Mandate 25, and it's based on Matthew 25, where it says that the um, sheep are the ones who feed people, the goats are the ones who are not. So we really wanna be the sheep who are helping to feed other people. So one of the folks he introduced us to is Linda. Linda, can you tell us a little bit yes, about your organization? Absolutely. Um, I represent Agape Christian Mission, which is uh, an amazing work that God's been doing for the past 30 years in Haiti. Um, I direct the mission and it is on the southeastern coast of Haiti. If you look at the map of Haiti, it's near a town called Jacques Mal. We have a three acre compound where we have a large church and a school established. That's our base compound. And then we satellite church out to three or four different churches that we're establishing um, as cell churches. So we're spreading over the southeastern coast. One of the things that we try and do, several things we try and do, is meet the basic needs, food, water, shelters, um, as well as preach the gospel. So this amazing day is, is it's just wonderful because now in Haiti, currently 65 to 70% of the Haitian population is in a food insecurity, which means they can't find food. It isn't available, they don't have funds, and they're sheltering in place because of COVID-19 and gangs that are roving the country. So they literally have no way of getting out to get food. We can get it to them, we can get it um, processed and they can feel safe to come to our compound and get this food and nutrition. The kids there are especially being um, affected by it with malnutrition. We can get regular rice and beans, but these meals, Kids Against Hunger meals, give them minerals and vitamins and protein that they're lacking in their developmental years. So we just thank Kids Against Hunger. We thank all these wonderful people who are here. And, and you know that you are helping hundreds of families and their kids to grow up normal and nice. It's just an amazing thing. Thank you guys so much. So how can they donate to your organization if they desire to do that? Agape Christian Mission has a website. It is A-G-A-P-E christianmission.org. Uh, there is a PayPal button on that. You can donate through that. You can donate uh, to me. Uh, I can give you the street address. The office is 2151 Volunteer Parkway, Bristol, Tennessee, 37620. Wonderful. Okay, and let's let in get introduced to your partner. Hello. Hi. Tell Facebook who you are and who your organization is. It's a wonderful organization. Thank you. My name is Carrie Gunning and I am with Kids Against Hunger. Here's one of our, this is what they're packing today. Uh, there are six meals in this bag and our mission is to be available for groups that want to come in and be able to pack meals to go anywhere in the country. Uh, host groups that come and pack get to take it with them or have it sent to where they choose to have it go. Okay, so you work together with um, organizations that are uh, like the one we just heard of, like Agape, and you box up nutritious food and send it out, right? Exactly. Yes. Okay, thank you for all that you're doing. And if somebody wants to donate to your organization, 
How would they do that? They can go to a uh, website, which is boonscreekcc.org, and then there's a donate button on there. If you choose to mail it, you can mail it to um, Kids Against Hunger, 305 Christian Church Road, Johnson City, Tennessee, 37615. All right, it's really wonderful when um, people and also organizations, ministries, nonprofits work together in a common goal. So any of these ways to donate will be helping kids and, and adults, will be helping families to eat. Pastor Matthew. Hey. What's up, everybody? We're here um, taking the scripture in James very, very seriously when it says pure and undefiled religion before the Lord is to, to take care of the widows, the orphan, and the poor among us. It's also in next week's Torah portion. Again, we're going to read about it. So um, we take... Uh, you know, many people in the Messianic Hebrew Roots community, they're very, very good at the um, obeying a lot of the things in the Torah, but many times the groups are neglecting what Yeshua would say is the weightier matters. So I want to encourage you, if you're um, not in a community that does stuff like feed the hungry, um, take care of the widows, the poor, if you don't have an outreach to Haiti or Africa or even locally, you can sow right here into the fellowship that um, that you're you're connected with um, with uh, with Firekeepers. You're connected right now with um, River Praise and Vineyard, and we do all these things. So praise the Lord. Um, if you don't have a way to give, then I'm sure Laura Lynn has already hooked you up. And Blessings. if somebody wanted to give to your organization, go to VineyardJC.com. Find the donate tab. Amen. Cool. Amen. Praise Thank you for Blessing, the work that you're sister. doing. Amen. So let's take a look at the operations and see what's going on. Carrie? So this is how they fill all of the different bags. This is where they seal it. You're sealing, right? I like your hat. I have one just like it. It's my most stylish hat that I own, that I'm wearing today. You do, yes. This is how they seal it. Are you having fun? Are you having fun feeding, uh, feeding people in Haiti today? And look at the kids involved. Does not just make your heart sore. Look at this. Your what? Sixth box. Oh my goodness. And do you remember how many are in each box? 36 bags. 216 meal, 16 meals in one box and you're on box six. Wow. Do you realize you have helped feed over a thousand people already you're on box eight. Oh my goodness okay so this is a lot of fun you guys if you don't have something like this going on in your life you're missing out Joshua how does it feel to be feeding thousands of people today Right, Zadika, Acts of Righteousness. And here's another one of our, our fire keepers. What are you doing? Are you enjoying this? I am thoroughly enjoying it. Oh, well don't let me slow you down. So thank you so much, you guys, for all that you do to help us, help others. Um, you've heard different ways that you can give into this today. Um, Firekeepers will also be making a monetary donation. 
So if you'd like to give through Firekeepers for this, you may do so at firekeepersinternational.org and there's a donate tab there. So um, I just wanna encourage you to find a local resource that you have to be able to do this on a regular basis and um, do the Matthew 25, the, the Mandate 25, and be a part of helping feed others. Blessings and love to you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, hey you guys. Um, if you didn't see my last live video, then um, make sure to go and watch that. You'll know why I have this beautiful hat on. Um, I'm here at Kids Against Hunger, their warehouse, and we've been packing food. We came to bless them and just to help uh, what they're doing to help feed people during this COVID outbreak for um, in Haiti today specifically. And um, it's wonderful because they also feed people in Israel. They have a common love for Israel, this organization does. And um, we were packaging up rice and nutrients in those. It's very nutrient dense and, and really well balanced. And so as I'm talking to the director, she, um, I asked her if she would share with us their supply for bulk rice because we want to be able to um, have that available through our Mandate 25 program, which is all about feeding the hungry. And um, she said, yes, I'll share my source with you, but she also blessed us with um, pallets of MREs and, uh, and also prepackaged rice meals that we're going to be able to distribute to the, um, some of my husband's tribe, the Taino, and some of the Diné, um, the Navajo out at the Navajo Nation. So we're really excited about that. We need to raise the money for shipping, but I know that Creator will provide that. Thank you for you guys out there who are doing that. We're really, um, you know, we came here to be a blessing to somebody else, and yet uh, our organization is going to be blessed with the ability to give food out. So it's just been... Um, it's been an amazing day if you if if you can find a place like this to donate a little bit of time to to help you will be fulfilling mandate 25 which is giving to the hungry feeding those in need getting water to people who are thirsty so uh, I just want to thank you guys out there for your prayers for us thank you for um, your prayers for fire keepers we love you guys and we look forward to telling you more about what Yahweh is doing Blessings.